Welcome to Sao Paulo here in Brazil. Sao Paulo is actually the fourth largest city in the world with a population of over 22 million. Just to give you an idea, that is four million more people than New York City. This is actually my fourth time coming to Brazil. Everyone that knows me knows I'm obsessed with Brazil. It's my favorite country in the world. The food, the weather, the culture. Most importantly, the people and the family I stay with are really what I love most about this place. I first came to Sao Paulo when I was 17 years old. It's really the place that really uh, inspired me to travel more of the world and see places like this. And there's definitely a reason I've come back here for a fourth time. I think if I never had come to Brazil at such a young age, I would have never been so many places in my life, seen so many different places, because this is the place that really inspired me. I think everyone knows the number one rule here in Brazil. Be very careful with your phone, your wallet and don't walk around with a camera. And I'm obviously a clear target here. This is called Parque Augusta. It's another one of the many beautiful parks here in the city of Sao Paulo. Nice place to relax, get out of the craziness of the city. Sao Paulo has a very distinctive style and vibe. It's kind of like skater culture meets finance. So you'll see a lot of hip, artsy people, and you'll also see a lot of people in suits. It's a very open-minded, free-thinking city. Every neighborhood is so different. I definitely wouldn't call it a beautiful city. It can be a little rough around the edges, but I think that's why I love it so much. It just gives me the perfect amount of discomfort, but at the same time makes me feel so at home and welcome. I also love that it's extremely rare to run into another tourist here. You definitely won't run into any backpackers. After coming from the previous countries on this trip, I definitely enjoy being the only gringo. Everyone here normally just calls me gringo. It's the term for a white foreigner, which is widely used throughout Latin America. So this video is going to be a little different from my previous videos and future videos. No drone shots or cinematic intro. I look at my time here in Brazil as more of a break from backpacking and just relax and spend time with the people here in Brazil who I have a very unique and special relationship with. I still want to give a glimpse of what life is like here in Sao Paulo since I feel uh, especially in the United States, a lot of people still don't know too much about Sao Paulo, even though it's one of the true mega cities on this planet. And later in the video, I'll introduce you to the amazing family I stay with when I come down here to Brazil. They really go above and beyond to take good care of me and make sure I have a good time while I'm here in Brazil. So I'm extremely grateful for them and to have them here. Here's my own bedroom here in Sao Paulo. Absolutely spoiled to have this. Is a view of the Sao Paulo skyline way off in the distance. Yes. Na praia. Muito verde, né? Tem capivara. <laughs> we were here last time. Yeah. <laughs> you know nothing about <laughs> Spanish. It's funny because everyone in America thinks Brazilians can speak Spanish. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, second night here in Brazil, me and my Brazilian sister Fe are gonna go over to uh, my Brazilian sister Vic's house. It's my buddy Gabriel. Jubolek! Yeah, yeah! Tudo beleza! Você cheira muito bom, né? Vicky's dog Miru. Miru. Miruquita. Miruquita. This is Vicky. Say hello, Chanel. So 
Miru, Miru, Miru. Nasa, say hi. Hello. All right. I throw everything and like all the time. <laughs> I'm not surprised. All right, everybody. These are my Brazilian friends. Felipe, muito prazer, muito prazer. Fernanda, we already met Fernanda. Pedro, it's been eight years, eight years since I've seen Pedro. Gabriel, he's been to Michigan. All everyone watching in Michigan, he's been to Sutton's Bay. He's been to Traverse City. This guy's been to Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Why? And Vicky, I already introduced you to Vicky. Yes, I've stayed with Vicky and Faye three times. This is the third time. Let's go. Yeah. Big Texas pizza. No, realmente. Ô, P, sabe lá no, no Guarujá, lá, lá que tem aquele lugar que você come pizza com luva? Sim. Ele ficou, tipo assim, muito chocado. Uh -huh. Tomorrow full send. For the... <laughs> oh my God, it's so much hair. <laughs> Eu acho que 10 dólares tá muito barato. Ué, tá chovendo. A gente vai ter que esperar um, um ônibus. ônibus. Não vai, agora tem uma sessão pra gente. Em seis meses caiu 45. Peraí, primeiro aqui, ó. Ele ficou um muito, muito cabelo. Muito cabelo. Muito cabelo. Entendeu? Assim, né? Não, tá. Sim. Mas ah, tá. A assim, tendência, assim. o que dizem é o seguinte, que isso aqui tinha que estar 300 mil. Ladinho, né? Alright, fresh haircut by Vicky. Now me and the ladies are heading into downtown São Paulo. This building was constructed in 1345. I can I can tell you the story. Yeah. Yes, you should. This building was the biggest one in São Paulo. This one. The first the biggest, tallest. the tallest. tallest. Not Yeah, kind of French. Yes. Yeah. But it looks like Indian too. Yeah. Because of the pyramids on the top yes. of the arts. All right, we just arrived here at Parque do Iberapuera. It's the most popular park here in the center of Sao Paulo. Largest park. Been here every time I've been to Brazil, so it's amazing to be back. It's one of my favorite city parks in the world. So we're just going to walk around. Spider. All right, so we just arrived here in Liberdade. It's the Japanese district of Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is actually home to the largest Japanese population outside of Japan. Como se chama? Como se chama? Fry yakisoba. Definitely feels like we've left Brazil for a little bit here and have entered Japan. Different types of lays they have here. Seaweed, roasted chicken, grilled squid, crayfish, fried crab, wasabi. What's it called in Portuguese? Água marinha. Yummy. So this is the central center of Sao Paulo, it's the most dangerous part of the city. Here's a rooftop view of Sao Paulo. Like I said previously, it is the fourth largest city in the world. Skyscrapers as far as the eye can see. It's 
It's kind of cloudy today, but still have a pretty good view. We're in the dead center of Sao Paulo right now, Centro. Uh, Paulista Street. Okay. Right there on the end. Uh huh. It's Paulista Street. So here is South. Okay. No, wait. No, 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 no. Evan, this is actually the highest build in Sao Paulo. Oh, this, this, this girl. <coughs> oh, God, this girl. <laughs> she uh, was the, the woman that uh, get uh, slavers free in Brazil. In Brazil, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She signed the law. The law. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is it Princesa Isabel? Yes. Do you know? <laughs> this is Dom Pedro. He got Brazil free from Portugal. An, an independent country. Okay. Yes. Belé. Maior jogador do mundo, né? All right, it's my friend Felipe's birthday. It's my fourth night here in Brazil. Not gonna film too much, but just to give you an idea. Here's how it's looking. <laughs> I'll show you a picture of this squad. I always stop and think about how crazy it is to be in this situation. I'm the only foreigner here, only gringo, and uh, just surrounded by a bunch of Brazilians having a good time here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. So this is feijoada, this is the national dish of Brazil, this is fe. Feijoada was created by slaves, just pissed poor people food, they took the leftovers and created this beautiful dish, and it is my favorite dish in the world. It's basically just a platter of farofa, rice, feijão, beans, linguiça, sausage, kale, comes in this cool cauldron. So this is Avenida Paulista. It's one of the most famous streets here in Sao Paulo. It's really the financial center of the city. Certainly get some New York City vibes here. You'll see a lot of these tents, these structures made with plastic. You'll see a lot of people using drugs as well, so just have to be really careful around here. Hard to see, but the Brazilian economy is definitely struggling right now. It's a lot different than the last time I was here. Okay, after a 10-hour flight to Mexico City, a 10-hour layover in Mexico City, followed by a 10-hour flight to Madrid, Spain, I have arrived here in London, England. I'll be spending the next week or so here, staying at my friend Ben's place. Not really sure what I'm going to do after. But Brazil is an absolutely incredible place. I want to give a very special thank you to Marquinho and Adriana, the Brazilian mother and father I've been staying with in Brazil. They fed me so much delicious food. I'm definitely heavier now than I was when I first arrived. They gave me my own private bedroom, private bathroom and just took really good care of me and make sure I stay safe while I'm in Sao Paulo. So shout out to them, Vic, Fe, Gabriel, Felipe. Miss you guys, thank you so much for everything. 